this is hands down the best thing they ever could have added to the game. <gasps> what a majestic fox! Oh, it's a goat! Oh, look at the goat! Hello, Mr. Goat! Aha! I'm sorry, I had to do it at least once. <laughs> What's up gamers? I hope you're all having a great day today. If not, then you're in luck because today we are going to be going to the nether so that we can get some blaze powder to finally get mending on this armor and my tools. We're also going to be working on the interior of my base and we're going to build a staircase all the way around to the bottom because at the moment you have to like yeet yourself into the water and then parkour back up and it's very inconvenient as you can see i have already started to build a nether portal here i got all of the obsidian up and i'm going to kind of round out this whole area and decorate it make some leaves going down and everything to make it look more natural Okay, I am liking this. I think it looks much more natural the way that I have this set up here so it's not so square. The one thing I am a little concerned about is this here. I lifted up the ground so that you wouldn't be able to see the obsidian as easily. You can see the obsidian a little bit up there, but it kind of just looks like you're like looking into a dark hole. But... And when you're going in the nether, it won't be a problem. But when you're coming out of the nether, it's going to be kind of annoying jumping up over this block. So I think I'm going to try maybe putting stairs or slabs here or something. And hopefully that'll cover up the obsidian without me having to jump over it every single time. So I'm going to try that. By the way, I have a texture pack on that turns my rabbits into frogs. I mean, I mean, okay, look, look at my skin. Look, look at me. Are you really surprised that I have a texture pack that turns rabbits into frogs? Are you really that surprised? <laughs> okay, I'm not totally certain if these guys despawn, but just in case, I am going to name them uh this these are going to be the lamest names ever because i'm coming up with them on the spot <laughs> sue that's not a bad name all right you will be sue and you will be hoppy there we go yay okay so the reason why i got flowers in the first place was just so that i could add a few pops of color around here nothing too crazy just something so it doesn't look quite so bland all right so like i said nothing too crazy just we just have a simple little pathway here with some flowers on the side and as we go up here we can see a little almost cave like thing that it leads to with a bunch of leaves growing on the side now the final touch is to light the nether portal there it is oh, i am so glad that they increased the possible size of nether portals because that looks amazing i am so mad i wasn't recording just then i came through this portal and immediately a ghast was out there and they saw me through this crack and they shot at me and i with my bare hands no bow and arrow i hit it right back at them and I got returned to sender immediately as soon as I entered the nether and I'm so mad I wasn't recording for it. The only proof I can offer is this completed return to sender advancement that I have. Oh. Did you guys hear that noise? That was pretty. It was kind of like a eerie kind of kind of pretty. Like, the kind of pretty that makes you shiver a little bit, you know? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? So, looking at an Enderman through a spyglass doesn't make them mad at you. That's good to know, because I accidentally just did it. <laughs> See? Oh no, it does! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Ah! You fool! Oh no, you fool! Ah! What the heck? I did it a second ago and you were fine! Ah, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Hi. This is Hi. 
fine. Everything is fine. Hey, I got two ender pearls out of that though. Is that guy gonna come for me or not? There we go. Didn't get anything from him, but that's okay. Oh my goodness. Look how adorable that is. A baby strider on top of a mama strider. That is so cute. I've never- I, I knew that that was a thing, but I've never actually seen it in game before. That is really cute. <laughs> oh ho ho! Do you see what I see? Alright. Uh... Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Greetings and salutations! Okay, here we go. This is one of the things that I wanted. Oh, I found him! Oh, I found him! Oh, I found him! Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh... Okay, what is the best way- Oh, I should have brought a bow and arrow! Bow and arrow is definitely the best way to get these guys. Darn. Okay, hold on. Okay, I got 13. That should be enough, right? Look, isn't this- Okay, it's not foolproof because they do hit you sometimes, but I put this- put this staircase here and I- I had a block there. And I just like- whenever they got close, I would just hit them. Like this. And then whenever I killed a couple and there there weren't as many inside, I would just run in and, and grab the uh, blaze rods. So that was nice. <laughs> so now I have 13, which surely is enough to create my potions. Surely that's enough. Ah, home sweet home. We are finally out of the nether. I do not like the nether. I still need that. <laughs> Okay, I had to run and grab a brown mushroom and some sand. However, I believe I am now just about ready to convert my villager. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. So... You... Oh, 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 I need to convert this to blaze powder first. So, okay, so we have blaze powder. Do I need to make them into awkward potions first? I don't think so. Oh, hey, that is right. Okay, so then you put the gunpowder in to do splash. Right, it has been so long since I've made potions, I wasn't sure. Well... Hmm, okay, 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 okay. So now I got to turn my villager into a zombie so that I can turn him back into a villager. Come on. Come on, he's right over here. Okay. He's gonna start hitting me, but that's okay. If I get out, can he reach him from here? Oh, okay. I hear him. I hear it. Okay. I think that was it. What? Why are we still here? Just to suffer. So remember how the other guy gave me a 10 emerald mending on the first try? Well... It's been 18 minutes and 30 seconds, exactly. I, I started watching a YouTube video as soon as I started uh, placing and replacing this. Uh, so it's been exactly 18 minutes and 30 seconds. I stopped counting somewhere around 50 times of replacing this. And I finally got mending, but it's 32 emeralds. So now the question is, do I continue to break and replace this and try to get a lower price or do I just cure him more times I mean I'm committed at this point aren't I mending 14 emeralds perfect I'll take it sold uh, okay 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 
Is this guy still here or is he despawned? No, this guy is here. Okay, so the reason why my villager died rather than uh, being cured is because I'm on normal. And when you're on normal, there's a 50% chance that the zombie will kill your villager rather than uh, turning them into a zombie. But when it's on hard, there's a 100% a chance that your villager will turn into a zombie. I should. Do I have to lock in his trade first? Uh, if I do, then I'm going to be using up most of my emeralds. Because I only have 13 plus three emerald ores over there that I haven't mined yet. But I don't want to lose this guy. So I am going to go ahead and trade. That may have been a mistake, but you know what? You went, it's it's fine. Better safe than sorry. Ah! No! Get, get back in the boat, sir! Hey, hey, hey. Okay, here. Here's a little trick for you. If you, if you didn't know, villagers have no concept of personal space. So, if they ever fall out of the boat, then you can literally, you can just, you can just trade with them. And they'll, or click on them like you're going to trade with them. And then they'll walk right up to you. Like you're gonna, oh, dang it, I did it again. <laughs> they'll walk right up to you because they wanna, they wanna look you in the eyes, you know? Okay, out of curiosity, what are you trading? Uh, nothing as usual. Okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nope, not me. Not me, the villager. Not me, the villager. Go. Huh, huh, huh. There we go. Okay. <laughs> What, what are you doing? What? Oh, oops. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna need a new zombie because I just burned him to death. Oh, uh, what? You're an idiot. <laughs> is he still locked on me even though the block is here? I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna go to bed. You know, just go to bed. I am clearly an expert when it comes to this. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Oh. oh! Oh, okay, okay. So now, now I just want to kill this guy. Okay, so now I do the splash potion first, which I accidentally splashed myself, but that's okay as long as I got him as well. There! Okay, 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 good. Good, good, good. This is good. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, let's see. What's he on? How- what does that put him on? Hello? Hi. Oh, that puts him on one. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, now we can go ahead and get mending. And you will actually level up, right? Yeah, what do I got? A book for an emerald. An emerald for a lantern. Okay, all right. I mean, not, I mean, you know, it's, it's a thing. And do I have enough for this? I do. All right, just for good measure, I'm going to put it on the golden helmet as well. I'm going to go ahead and mine all of this stuff so that the XP will heal all of my stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh boy, Fortune 3 does not mess around, does it? And there is something just so satisfying about using a Fortune 3 pick on a pillar of ores as your tools slowly mend themselves. That that was that was like probably the most satisfying thing ever. I think I'm going to get started on the interior of my base. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the replay mod just because it hasn't been updated yet to 1.18 but it's fine everything's fine as soon as i'm i'm keeping an eye i'm keeping an eye on on the replay mod and as soon as they update it i'm going to uh, i'm gonna jump on it but for now we're just gonna have to make do without it
Alright, so the interior is now completely done, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a tour here. As we go in, we've got the front porch here, and over here we have the kitchen with our little, our little wood-burning stove here with a chimney going all the way up. We have the counters, and we got a little, a little cutting board where, where we're about to cut a, a beetroot. Right here we have our dining table that you can eat, that you can actually sit in. Look at that! I am actually sitting at the dining table, and I got my cake here that I can eat if I'm ever, if I ever get hungry. We have, uh, because this building has obviously been here for a while, it's settling into the ground and nature is starting to take over, we have the leaves that are taking over. So I originally, if you noticed in the speed, in the uh, time lapse, I, ha I originally had a spiral staircase here, but I decided I didn't like it. It took up way too much room, so I decided to use these trap doors here instead, which I didn't actually know you could put ladders on trap doors until a couple hours ago, actually. So let's go up here into the bedroom, and as you can see, there used to be a bookshelf lining the side of the ladder, but as the house has settled and as the house has started to fall into the sinkhole, the, the, the bookshelf kind of fell apart and it's everywhere. It's, it's a complete mess. We got, we got books everywhere. I don't know. I should really clean it up. So then we got our desk here with, with a single, a single, the drawer, only one of the drawers has a handle. Uh, I will fix that eventually. <laughs> And you! I have not named you yet, either. I promise I will do that maybe in the next episode. I'm- I don't know. <laughs> Up here we have our storage room where everything is sorted. So, down here we have the basement. We have some more leaves taking over. This lamp was on the ceiling as- just like it was- this one was, but it has fallen down. We have a little brewing station here. Eventually I'm going to put my enchanting table down here, but I haven't quite decided how exactly I want to configure it. So that is the final tour of my starter house. I really, really like the way that it turned out and eventually I'm going to have uh, more houses along here as if this is like a neighborhood. I'm going to turn this into a little neighborhood and maybe have another house that is a little bit further down there, a little bit further down. It's getting dark, I should probably go sleep. But that is going to be all for today's episode. If you did enjoy, please remember to leave a like. And if you happen to be new, also consider subscribing to join my daily gamers. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!